Maximum Amplitude of Oscillation A block with mass capital M rests on a frictionless surface and is connected to a horizontal spring of force constant K. The other end of the spring is attached to a wall. A second block with mass M rests on top of the first block. The coefficient of static friction between the blocks is mu sub s. Find the maximum amplitude of oscillation such that the top block will not slip on the bottom block. So you can see we have a block with mass capital M, a block with mass lowercase m. There is friction between the two, coefficient of static friction mu sub s. There is no friction with the bottom surface and we have a spring with spring constant k and we want to know the maximum amplitude of oscillation so that this block will not slip. So let's start with the free body diagrams. So consider the free body diagram for blocks with mass capital M and M. So if I concentrate on the forces acting on the block with mass capital M, the free body diagram will show uh, the following forces. So when this block is modeled as a particle, it of course has a weight pointing down, that is capital M G. There is a block sitting on top of it, so there will be force exerted by uh, M on capital M, so that will be the weight of that block, Mg. There will be a normal force that will balance uh, these forces uh, from the bottom surface, capital N. Uh, if this spring has been stretched uh, by a certain amount, there will be a spring force, which will be the restoring force, capital Fs, and the friction with the top uh, block, uh, F sub S, static friction, will be opposing the force due to the restoring force due to the spring. And let's call the vertical axis the y-axis, the horizontal axis the x-axis. And uh, we have equilibrium situation on the y-axis, net force on the y-axis is zero. So the normal force is going to balance the total weight G times M plus capital M. The net force on the x-axis is the static friction pointing to the right and spring restoring force pointing to the left that is responsible for capital M times the acceleration on the x-axis which tells us that static friction is uh, the spring restoring force F sub S plus capital M times acceleration on the x-axis. On the other hand, if I look at the free body diagram for the top block with mass M, I'm going to uh, see a reaction force of this uh, static friction. This static friction was pointing uh, to the right on the uh, block with the bottom block with mass capital M. So it should be acting to the left on the block with mass M. So I will see the static friction pointing to the left in that case. Um, there is the weight of the block pointing down. So uh, we will have mg pointing down and the normal force uh, that is the force exerted by capital M on M is N prime. The net force on the y-axis is zero. Therefore, the normal force N prime is equal to the weight of this block. And the net force on the x-axis is the static friction pointing in minus i hat direction that is equal to mass times the acceleration. So if I, if I concentrate on this equation and this equation, if I add them up, I will see that, or if I add this equation with this equation, I will see that 
uh, from the combination minus fs the spring restoring force will be responsible for the total mass times the common acceleration ax uh, in other words if i concentrate on the system consisting of the two blocks the uh, internal forces will uh, cancel out and in that case i will be just considering the spring restoring force which is responsible for the common acceleration a so therefore the system will have an acceleration which is equal to minus the spring restoring force fs divided by the total mass capital m plus m so if i substitute this acceleration to the static friction expression uh, that i obtained from the free body diagram of capital m the block with mass capital m then i see that static friction must be equal to uh, the spring restoring force fs minus uh, capital M times Fs divided by the total mass capital M plus M. Therefore, this will be equal to, because I will have capital M Fs, M Fs minus capital M Fs here, it will be equal to uh, M Fs, the spring restoring force, divided by the total mass capital M plus M and what is the maximum value of the spring restoring force note that the spring restoring force depends on the amount of stretch it will have a maximum value when I reach the maximum amplitude of the oscillation a max so the maximum friction I will observe will be equal to uh, m times the spring restoring force maximum value which is spring constant k times maximum amplitude of oscillation divided by the total mass m plus capital m and uh, for the top block not to slip i know that the maximum static friction uh, i can uh, stand is the coefficient of static friction times the normal force on this block which is mu s times m G. So these amps will uh, cancel out and I will obtain uh, the maximum amplitude of oscillation A max to be uh, the coefficient of static friction mu s, gravitational acceleration G, total mass M plus capital M divided by the spring constant k so this will be the final answer all right so we're talking about a system consisting of two blocks there is friction between them coefficient of static friction mu s and these blocks are to move together and m should not slip on capital m uh, so if I consider the forces on the x-axis for this system of two blocks, there is only the spring restoring force provided that the spring has been stretched at a distance delta x from its equilibrium position. And this spring restoring force is total mass times acceleration. The common acceleration will be minus fs divided by m plus capital M the total mass if i look at the free body diagram for the bottom block i see the total weight uh, m plus capital mg pointing down normal force uh, that's compensating for its spring restoring force and the static friction which is opposing the spring restoring force acting uh, uh, at the interface between m and capital m and uh, because the common acceleration is minus fs over m plus capital m where fs is the uh, magnitude of the spring restoring force i will see that the static friction is uh, the spring restoring force plus capital m ax which is m fs divided by capital m plus m spring restoring force reaches its maximum value when we have the uh, amplitude of the oscillation a max so it's k times a max and this maximum friction i can 
uh, stand without slipping for the top block is this coefficient of static friction times the normal force acting on this block and prime, which is mg, as we can see from this free body diagram. So amps cancel and we reach the maximum amplitude of oscillation to be mu sg total mass divided by the spring constant k.